Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I would like to show you how we at Redwood are managing migration projects from competitive tools to our automation solution, Run My Jobs. And in focus, we have Control M today. For over 27 years, automation has been our main focus and our main obsession. During these years, we have performed a lot of successful migration projects from different competitive tools. So we have the expertise and we have the experience. And this is the purpose for this video. I want to make you confident about our experience and that we can manage the migration project for you and that we can make your migration project successful. So in the first part of my presentation, I will show you how we work and our approaches. In the second part, I will demonstrate it to you on our product. And in the third part, I will summarize and show you also some next steps might be possible for you. So, prior to the migration project, you might have asked yourself already some key questions. And these also questions that we address to our customers prior to the migration project. Is it a lot of work? Is there risk? Is there one perfect way? So is, is it a lot of work? Our answer is yes, but let's see that you might think if you have a right partner by your side. Is there risk? Yes, like in any software project, there are certainly risks, but they can be controlled because if you know what risk you can face, you can address them and you can avoid them. You need the experience and the expertise. And this is something that we offer to you. And the third question, is there one perfect way? Not for everyone, sure but we will find one perfect way or several perfect ways for you individually. So before we start a migration project, we might consider also some key points. And the consideration, the first main consideration is what do you want to achieve? Do you want a lift and shift migration or do you want optimize? Do you want to get rid of some workarounds, for example, technical debt, as we call it? Or uh, what do we want to achieve? And this is something that we address prior to the migration project and we help you also to make this consideration. As we say, there is never lift and shift and the truth lies in between and we will find it together. Another key point to consider, how do we want to use Redwood product optimally? We can offer you better performance, you, you can increase usability, you can decrease maintenance effort. So we need a plan how you can use, get the best of our product. Also important point, what is your automation strategy? What do you, you plan to achieve in the near future? What is your vision? Perhaps other, other departments want to, be autom uh, want to get uh, autom uh, automation. And also, who is involved in the automation? Who are the stakeholders? Who do you want to involve in this project? And these all points we can address in our migration assessment. This is a tool that we have developed together with our consultants, with our development and with our salespeople and also our customers to have a plan for the migration project and to have the best vision for you. So consider we have done the migration process uh, assessment and we are starting the migration project. We have to find also some project approach, a phased approach. We have configured your system and then we start the migration project. So for each project phase, we see several stages. In the first stage, we import your XML data, your export data from your Control M environment in our system 
automatically. We have tools, we have developed tools for, for it. In the second and third step, we evaluate if the, uh, if the import is correct, if we need to define some standards, if we need to adjust something manually or automate it, and then we test it, we schedule it, and we promote it to the next environment, for example, from development to test, from test in production. And now I would like to demonstrate it to you. I will import some, some export data from Control M. This is in XML format. I will import it automatically. I will analyze it, evaluate it. I will make some adjustments. I will test it, I will schedule it, and I will promote it. To be able to import the Control M export data into our on my job solution, first you need to export the data from your Control M environment. And the export would look like this. It is an XML file containing some jobs. And now let's take a look on a specific condition, on a specific job. For example, this group or this job named move file belonging to this group. And as we can see, this is uh, some command line um, job this, uh, that executes a script on a Windows server. Also some parameters here and a not OK condition that defines what should happen in an error case. And another one, also belonging to the same group with this job name. And this looks like some some other script, some other transaction in a SAP job, containing also parameter and not OK condition. So now I would like to import this XML file in our Run My Jobs environment. And from the group, we will get a chain with the job name and with this ABAP transaction as a parameter. Now I am in our Run My Jobs test environment and would like to import the XML data from Control M. I can do this by choosing Promotion and I open our importer. Our importer is a process in Run My Jobs that we have developed to help us to import all the data from competitive tools to our environment automatically. So we don't do we don't have to do this manually. As you can see, we have different importer and we choose the one for Control M. Then I choose the XML file that I have zipped to a car file and give some parameters. And now I start this. In our process monitor, we can see the process. And as you can see, the process, the importer process is a chain. In the first step, it evaluates the import and then it asks me if I would like to import. And I say yes. Now it's done and we can see the report file. What has been imported, as we can see, there are some applications, some job definitions, 25 of them, and some queues. What I can do now, I can connect these queues to, to an according system. So one queue can handle one or several systems. And now we will go to chain definitions and take a look on the imported chains. Here I have a filter for control M conversion chains. Here are all the chains that have been imported. And we take a closer look on this um, Armour P chain that we have seen in the XML file before. I open it in our chain graphical chain editor. You see the two steps that we have seen in the XML file. The importer has converted them and combined them to a group. A group is a chain in Run My Jobs. So the first job or the first process. Um, named the move, uh, move file with some um, parameters. And if we 
look on the definitions. Uh, on the definition, we see the command line that we have seen in the XML file. So we can evaluate, okay, this process has been imported correctly. And the same for the second one. We check if we have all the parameters in the correct ABAP um, transaction and also the parameters here. What we can do now, we can do some changes. For example, I would like to show uh, to see the spool file. So I say spool, show spool, yes. And now I want to connect the system to it. I choose for the more file on the Windows system, Windows Server. <laughs> and for the SAP system, I choose our ERP queue for the ERP system. What we see already here is um, not a precondition has been converted to a status handler or error handler. It handles not only the error status, it handles it is able to handle also different statuses like completed, cancelled and so on. For the statuses error queued and unknown, the importer has defined the request restart option. But we can change it and say that we want, for example, we want to ignore we want to ignore this error, for example. So these are kinds of changes that we can do after the initial import. We save and close and now we should be able to test the chain. To test it I choose submit and I would like to submit it now. If you would like to schedule it you have here powerful uh, scheduling options like I want to execute it daily uh, from this start uh, in a certain time window, for example, working days. And also you can define submit frames, for example, you want to execute this um, process every 10 minutes. For now, I just want to run it once. And I choose now, I choose the root system. And now I can see the live view of the execution. As you can see, the first step is already done. And the CCMS job will also be executed. And now everything is green. It means everything is completed successfully. And I also can see the job logs and the spool files. And now I can promote this chain to another environment. For example, from, in, from development to test, from test to production. I can do this automatically by choosing the context menu, promote to system. Here I can define different system and also I can apply rules for this promotion. For example, notifications. Here I can promote, for example, to our production environment. This chain is just a small example. Of course, in your Control M environment, you have more complex processes and more complex groups. So let me show you another chain in our chain editor that we have just imported. This is a more complex chain. It contains one step and each of these processes will be started in parallel. We have processes here, but we have also some nested chains here. And this is just to show you that our importer can also handle complex dependencies, recognize them and import them correctly. Since we don't have to import all the data manually, we can concentrate on optimizations. What kind of optimizations it could be, for example, we take this FTP file uh, process. You can see that we have several of them. We have here one and here and here, and they are all the same. The definition is the same. What is different are the parameters here. So this is in the nature of Control M. 
if you need some process where you use different parameters, different source and destination file, for example, you need to copy the FTP process, the definition, and to create a new one. This is different in Run My Jobs. In Run My Jobs, we are working object oriented. This means you need only one process definition for FTP and then you can reuse it by defining source file and destination file as input parameter. So each time when you schedule it, you can put the parameter, different parameter. Or if you use this process definition inside a chain, you can also define where this parameter is coming from. Is it coming from the step, from the previous step or from the chain or from the chain above? So this is a kind of optimization that helps you to reduce the number of definitions and also makes the maintenance easier for you. So this is a kind of optimization that you can do. We can do also create reusable um, credentials or reusable events that you can use. Or you can define different time windows and submit frames that you can use. Our, our processing is flexible and continuing and we can also reduce SAP process definitions by using SAP ABAP name instead of using CCMS jobs. And this is all due our seamless integration into SAP. For example, our customer AMD, they have migrated from Control M to Run My Jobs and could reduce the active job definitions from 20,000 to only 4,000. And of course, they had another benefit from the migration, for example, um, saving the licensing cost or increasing the system uptime to 99.6%. In my presentation, I have demonstrated to you the typical steps that we go through in a in migration project. We have seen the initial import. I was using a migration tool that has automatically imported the XML file from Control M. We have seen this the evaluation and uh, manual adjustment that I have made on the on the chain. Um, for example, adding some system where it has to be run, changing parameters. Uh, I have analyzed if everything was imported correct. And here in this repeated two steps, it is important to consider again how far do you want to optimize. Um, after adjustments, I have tested the chain and it ran successfully. So I have shown to you how we can schedule and uh, how we can automatically promote the chain in the next environment automatically also. So what do we offer to you? We can offer you a lot. First, we can offer you our expertise of over 27 years to make you take advantage of our expertise. Our people, our consultants are doing migration projects for years, every day. We have implemented tools that are helping us to make this project successful and to accelerate them. We have developed, for example, our assessment. We have the excellent support based on our experience. And our goal is to enable you as soon as possible to be able to maintain your system on your own. And that's why we have created a lot of training materials and we have also trainers and e-learning available for you. So the next steps could be the migration assessment if you are already talking to, uh, to us and if not, feel free to reach out via our website or directly. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation and thank you very much for joining.